Well, first, let me say thank you to the McClendons, uh, great friends. And Chris said he was instrumental in hiring me at the chamber. I guess it would have been about four years ago. So obviously a brilliant, brilliant man and a good friend. <laughs> so thanks for uh, all you've done uh, with the work in the chamber and the community and uh, for what you and Bev have done for me and just being a great friend. You know, it's people like Bev and Chris and people like all of you that make Iowa such a great place to live. People that say, it's important to show up on Tuesday night out in Wildwood, just north of Van Meter, because this sort of thing matters, because this is important. County elected officials are important. This coming caucus is important. Our presidency is important. And we have a great speaker here this evening uh, who's going to talk a lot about her husband. But before I get to that, I, I need to introduce a few people, and I want to talk a little about my office. First of all, somewhere I think on the deck is our, sh our sheriff's hiding somewhere out there. I don't know where he is, but uh, Sheriff Chad Leonard's out here keeping us all safe. Sheriff Leonard came in in 2006. We had had some not so good things happening in that office and the sheriff's been a, a great, great elected official and a great sheriff for the people of Dallas County. And just, uh, the mayor of Clive is here, Scott Serxina, a good friend and uh, Great supporter, Scott. I appreciate your friendship and, uh, and all you do for the people of the city of Clive and us here in Dallas County. Our House Majority Whip, Eric Helland, is here. State Representative Helland. Eric, thanks for being here tonight. Polk County Supervisor, Bob Brunell, is here. Bob, thanks for being here. Bob's a great supervisor and doing great things for our cause in Polk County, so thanks for all you do there. And then I, I want to recognize a couple other people. You know, we have some great staff in Dallas County that help get the job done for the taxpayers. And I know our deputy auditor is here, Vicki Klein's here. Vicki, thanks for coming. She's hiding on the deck. I hope you get a chance to meet her. And uh, two people from my staff are here that really do wonderful things for me and for our office. Um, they show up early and they, they stay late if they need to. And, um, I really, anything that I've accomplished in my office really has a lot to do with my staff and not so much with me. So I want to recognize Cindy Kisting and Tori Dickinson, they're here, here as well. So thank you ladies for all you do. Now the, probably the most important lady in my life couldn't be here this evening. My wife Jody is in, uh, in Florida right now and I think she's probably doing a little campaigning on behalf of the governor while she's there. She, he understands how to create jobs. He understands how the economy works because he's worked in the private sector for years. But on the other side of that, he's also worked in the public sector and in the government arena. And he came to office as governor, and he, on day one, faced a $4 billion debt. And at the end of his term, without raising taxes, in fact, by cutting taxes 19 times, he balanced the budget in Massachusetts and he raised that debt. And that's the kind of experience I believe we need in the White House, someone that knows how to create jobs and how to balance a budget without raising taxes. <laughs> I could talk all night about why I'm supporting Governor Romney, and I hope you'll stick around and, and take some time to visit with me about that. But I figured, who better knows Mitt Romney than, than Ann Romney? So at this time, I want to turn it over to Mrs. Romney. And, and with your help, we'll be able to do this. With your help, we can succeed in Iowa, and we can win the White House back. And I hope you'll join this team and join this cause so that we can call this lady the next First Lady of the United States, Anne Rose. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> wow, Chad, um, I think Mitt needs to take him with him when he goes to the White House and figure out how to cut all those budgets. I think if, you know, we could have you doing the same thing that Mitt's got to do, which is going to have more zeros on the end. <laughs> <laughs> 